Celavis is one of the major NPCs in Elden Ring. He has a short but treacherous questline involving Ronnie, Nefeli, and Dung Eater, all of which will be covered in this video. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. To meet Celavis, you'll first need to find and speak with Ronnie the Witch in Northern Lyurnia after making your way through Caria Manor. After agreeing to serve Ronnie, she'll have you go downstairs and meet with the spectral forms of Blyde, E.G., and Celavis. Celavis will ask you to meet him at his own rise, which is located southeast of Ronnie's rise. Go to the Rise and speak with Celavis, and he'll task you with finding Nefeli and giving her a potion that he's concocted. Now you have three major options for what to do with Celavis's potion. The first I'll talk about is to actually give it to Dung Eater. This can be done once his questline has been progressed to the point where he is strapped to a chair and accepting seedbed curses. The second option is to do as Celavis asked and give it to Nefeli. In order to give it to her, you'll need to progress her questline up to the point where she is in the basement of Roundtable Hold. At that point, you will need to ask Gideon about her despair, after which you'll have the option of giving her the potion. The third option is to show Gideon the potion after speaking to him about Nefeli's despair. This will open up the option for him to take the potion and dispose of it safely. Without treading too far into spoiler territory, here are the outcomes of the three options with Celavis's potion. Giving it to Dung Eater will allow you to get a Spirit Summon version of Dung Eater, but will also prevent completion of his full questline. Giving it to Nefeli will allow you to get a Spirit Summon version of Nefeli, but will also prevent completion of her full questline. Giving it to Gideon will not prevent completion of any questline, but you will miss out on getting either Dung Eaters or Nefeli's Spirit Summons. This is probably the most virtuous or good option to go with. If you're not sure on how to complete either Nefeli's or Dung Eater's questlines, up to the point where you can give them or Gideon the potion, I'll put links to guide videos for each of those questlines in this video's description. Once you've chosen any of those three decisions, return to Celavis at his rise to inform him that the task is complete. At this point, you'll need to locate Celavis's hidden chambers to progress his questline. Go to Ronnie's rise and travel northeast. At the first ruins, there is a false floor on the ground that will fade when struck or rolled on, revealing a hidden staircase. Descend into the chamber and proceed to the opposite side. There should be a gold message near the southwest corner of the chamber that reads Celavis's puppet, do not touch. You'll also find the puppet of either Dung Eater or Nefeli if you gave Celavis's potion to one of them. After reading that message, you can return to Celavis at his rise and broach the topic. In response, he'll offer you a puppet. To continue Celavis's quest, we'll need access to his puppet shop. You should have the option to make it available if you have a Starlight Shard in your inventory. However, if you're like me and have Starlight Shards, but still don't see the dialogue option that gets you access to the puppet shop, you may need to go find an additional Starlight Shard in the open world. I picked up mine to the east of Oridus's rise in Weeping Peninsula, then returned to Celavis. At that point, he should have the I want a new puppet dialogue option, which opens up his puppet shop. As a quick side note, if you gave Celavis's potion to Dung Eater, you'll be able to purchase the Dung Eater puppet, with the Dolores puppet becoming available later on. If you gave the potion to Nefeli, you'll be able to purchase the Dolores puppet, and it will be Nefeli's puppet that becomes available later on. And if you gave the potion to Gideon, you won't be able to purchase any of those three puppets, but you will be able to get the Dolores puppet later on. Getting back on track, to progress Celavis's quest, you'll need to purchase at least one more of his puppets, as well as all of the sorceries he has available. After doing that, speak with Saluvis again and choose the new About the Scheme option. This will trigger the next phase of his questline in which he requests that you bring him an Amber Starlight Shard. A single Amber Starlight Shard can be found in a crater to the northeast of the Altus Highway Junction Site of Grace in Altus Plateau.
after retrieving the Amber Starlight, bring it back to Seluvis. This will cause him to lose himself for a little bit, but speak with him a second time to get a rare reward, the Magic Scorpion Charm Talisman, which boosts magical damage while lowering defenses. At this point, you can stop doing Celevis' quests with no consequence to Ronnie's questline. You can also complete his quests and repair the damage done to Ronnie's questline as long as you have some Celestial Dew. Assuming you want to see his quest through, rest at a Sight of Grace and return to Celevis to get the Amber Draught. Bring it to Rani at the top of her rise and attempt to administer it to her. She will not be happy with you and tell you to leave. Now at this point I rushed to the Church of Vows to perform an absolution ritual and forgot to speak with Celevis so I'm not sure what, if anything, he'd have to say. Regardless, I don't think he has any additional rewards to give at this point. This brings us to the end of Celevis' questline, which can occur in one of two ways. If you go to the Church of Vows in Lyurnia and use a Celestial Dew to absolve yourself of your actions, then Ronnie will return to the state she was in before trying to give her the Amber Draught. You'll also find the remains of Celevis, his armor set, and his bell bearing at his rise. This will also happen once you've given the Finger Slayer Blade to Ronnie during her questline. It'll happen whether you've gotten the Magic Scorpion Charm from Celevis or not, so you can definitely miss that charm, and I know I did on my first playthrough. Once Celevis' questline is complete, you should also go to Pitya, the Carrion Servant. He's found in an upper level of Carrion Manor that can only be reached by jumping down to a rooftop northeast of Celevis' rise. Pitya will drop his bell bearing, along with a doll slash spirit summons that is determined by who you chose to give Celevis' potion to. Nefeli's puppet will be there if you gave the potion to Nefeli, and Dolores' puppet will be there if you gave the potion to either Gideon or Dung Eater. In addition, if you still wanted to purchase a puppet from Celevis after he's died, you can do so by returning to his body, where an examine prompt will open the shop. And that's about it. If you're still having issues with this questline, you can reach out in the comments section, and also you should check my pinned comment as I'll do my best to update it with helpful information about specific problems and potential fixes. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Saturday, and as always, thanks for watching.